Welcome to our lecture online. In order to understand the triple point concept a little bit better, let's again point to the graph and then we'll look at some values for different substances to get more of a feel for it. So again, the triple point of a substance is the point where all three phases can exist at the same time. Solid, liquid, and gas or vapor can exist at the same time at the triple point conditions, which are usually determined by the temperature and the pressure. Now, if we take a look at the table here, we can see that for a fair number of very common substances, we have the temperature and the pressure in TOR associated with that triple point. Now, let's go look at water because that way we can get a feel for it. Notice that TOR is a unit of pressure and one atmosphere is equal to 760 TOR, which means 760 millimeters of mercury. The atmospheric pressure can pull, push up a column of mercury of 76 centimeters or 760 millimeters. So if we look at water right here, notice that the temperature is very, very close to the freezing point or melting point of water, very close to that. But notice that the pressure is far below atmospheric pressure. So for the conditions of water to exist so that water can exist both in the liquid, the vapor phase and the solid phase, it would have to be about the zero degree centigrade right around the freezing point of water and at a very very low pressure of 4.58 torr which is less than one percent atmospheric pressure matter of fact it's even a little bit less than the atmospheric pressure on mars now if you look at all the other values some of these you can see that the temperature required to be at the triple point for helium and hydrogen is actually fairly close to the melting and boiling point of these substances unlike it is for water. And then carbon dioxide is kind of an outlier, where even though the temperature seems reasonable, which is about 60 or so, a little less than 60 degrees below freezing, but notice that the pressure required is very high. So that would be about, let's see, seven, five times seven. So that would be about five times atmospheric pressure required so that carbon dioxide can exist in both the liquid, the solid, and the vapor phase. It turns out, therefore, that in order to have uh, carbon dioxide in vapor form, you will have to have a very high pressure. So therefore, at atmospheric pressure, and as, as well as on the surface on Mars, you will not find carbon dioxide in liquid form, only in solid form and in vapor form, or a gaseous form, and so therefore there's no in-between in the case of carbon dioxide. You can see that for almost all the other substances, except maybe for neon, you can see that the amount of pressure required is very, very low, far below atmospheric pressure typically, and temperatures are usually somewhere in the neighborhood of the freezing or the melting point and the boiling point of the, of the substance. But it's really the low pressure in general that allows the triple point condition to exist for liquid, vapor, and solid to exist at the same time. So hopefully, that will give you, again, a good idea of what we mean by the triple point of a substance.